Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Akuba Nights. You are in the forest. And you are waiting for the basilisk to show up. Let's see how long it takes. Mm. I'm, I'm busy applying poison to a couple of arrows. You guys are out in the woods all day waiting. And on towards evening, when you're getting cramps in your legs from squatting for so long and giving up a little bit and getting impatient, uh, you hear the sound of something crashing through the brambles and approaching the body of the, the king's guard is a, a basilisk. And let's see if it walks right into a trap. Absolutely. Steps on a bear trap, which goes whap right around its leg, and the basilisk lets out a <laughs> Not immediately attack. I think it's the screaming that turns turns you to stone, not not the ice. Hmm. Uh, so I think the party can launch a full complement of surprise attacks immediately. Uh, yes, I'm totally going to try and shoot it with my arrow. Unleash hell. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I've yet again forgotten how to do arrows, so that's... Should be d20 plus three plus... Yeah, uh, you've got an ambush on it, so another four on top of that. So d20 plus seven. Um, seven. Boom! Crit match! Oh, it. Wow. Get poisoned. Seriously. Uh, I'm just double checking their AC, but I'm pretty sure it's quite... Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna do three times damage dice. So that's 3d6. Uh, 3d6, yes. Middling damage, wonderful. And the Basilisk must make a saving throw versus poison. A special saving throw versus poison. Uh, and does not so well on this saving throw. Very excited, yes. Uh, next up in the party. Actually, you get a second shot as well. We might as well do them all right now. Take uh, your second is shot. That, is that a surprise as well or? Yep, yep. Same round, same mods. Boom. Okay, that's a nope. miss. That one's a miss. Okay. Okay. Next party member. All right, both poison arrows are done. <clears throat> uh, Budarius is going to charge in, covering his eyes. Okay. Uh, give me a dexterity check as you charge in, covering your eyes. It's difficult to charge while not seeing much. 17. Ah, uh, hmm. Badarios. <laughs> uh, give me a saving th th give me a saving throw versus death, please. We'll see wh which way this goes in your favor or against your favor. Versus the death. Okay. Poison paralyzation, poison and death magic. PPD. Oh. PPD really? Paralyzation, poison, death magic. Okay. Does PPD mean something else that I'm not aware of? Postpartum depression. Ah. <laughs> uh, so you, you kind of miss the basilisk. You don't like stumble and fall and hurt yourself and then see the basilisk staring at you. You're like covering your eyes and running it's in direction. And then like in front of you is a trap and you go around the trap and you go around that trap. And then you're like, wait a minute. I think I've shot past it the wrong way. Hold on. Okay. Um, so you can, if you'd like, look up and try and relocate the basilisk. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> All right. You glance up, look around. You're on the other side of it. You can see it from the back. Its tail is wa uh, waving in the air as it continues to <laughs> scream. Well, uh, if I'm able to make it there, um, I'm trying to. Uh, sure, you can get to the basilisk, but you're, we're gonna say that you're 
you spent the round trying to get to it without seeing it, which is the, the failed dex okay. check here. Uh, next okay. party member. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take a shot with the bow, I guess. I get a plus four as well. Yep. Right, three. Wow, uh, that's a natural 18. You do double damage. That's Ten. Um, that's on top of the nine from earlier. Wonderful. Ooh, this basilisk has bad hit points. Uh, wow. Okay, Sammy, it's your turn. All right, Sammy, with the only offensive spell he will ever know. Uh, <laughs> you picked a conjurer, not me. <laughs> he goes for surprise magic missile with metal whatever they are metal rods two hits two hits and two d6 and the basilisk flies flat with one last oh oh Um, oh, that was easy. Quick question: Do basilisks hunt in in more than one? Do they move in herds? Herds, wow. mega herds. <laughs> they do not. They do not. They are usually solitary creatures. Sometimes in a lair, you might find groups or nests, but. Out in the wilds, in the woods, when they're looking for food, they are solo. Because they probably tend to accidentally turn each other to stone if they are around <laughs> each other in groups. <laughs> Doesn't seem very good. How do yeah. this mate? Really bloody carefully. Uh, so it's dead. Uh, yeah. It's dead. Good job. Yes. Dead. Well done, everybody. Well done. Yes. That was easy. <sighs> now, about those kobolds. Let's just deal with this. Hmm. Indeed. So, uh, what is there to deal with? You've, you've slain the basilisk that probably is the one who killed Selene and the other Kingsguard. Um, okay, let's have the body transported back to uh, to the city. We can we can get him sorted out, probably. Excellent. All right. You bring the corpse back to the city with the, all these people here. You make it back uh, by nightfall. When you wake up the next morning, uh, it appears that the Qualstari family has brought to you uh, three kobolds bound and waiting for you in a in a parlor. We Do we have a translator? translator. Uh, yes, they they will have brought a translator along for you as well. Also bound in rope. <laughs> no, the translator's not bound and tied. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's been a good day. Uh, Do we need to get my flensing the... knives oh, out? Okay, then. Your what knives? My yeah. flensing knives. What is that? That remove the flesh from skin. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Neil's face says no. Uh, well. <laughs> The translator is a middle-aged woman. She's kind of standing around with her arms folded in robes, uh, politely waiting for you to start. Uh, the three kobolds are terrified. They're all like bound together in one big, like all their backs are to each other. Um, they, they smell bad, like wet dog, but like, you know, wet dog who rolled in stinky mud, not just like it got rained on. And uh, the three remaining King's Guards are here, standing over the kobolds with weapons drawn in case they act up. 
I would like to walk round one of the kobolds mm -hmm. uh, in preparation for someone asking, someone telling the translator to ask questions. Excellent. Uh, and when a conversation starts going, I will cast comprehend languages to verify the translations whenever, mm. wherever possible. Okay. And also to uh, test my new magical abilities. Yes. I think this is the wrong start. Um, Buck draws a dagger and uh, uh, cuts the ropes of one of the kobolds. Okay. And hands him something to eat. Uh, do you have a reaction like adjustment for Darius? Yes. <laughs> what is your Charisma reaction? Modifier? Dude. What is it? Charisma modifier, you mean? Yeah, yeah. That should be under charisma. Plus three. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I have a charisma of 15. You know what? The the kobold looks up at you and gives you a big broad smile and munches down on the pastry you've handed it, uh, getting oh, yeah. little bits of Head jelly all over shoulder. its face. I hand him a water jug as well to give him something to drink. Takes it and drinks it. You can see the envious looks of the other kobolds who are tied up. Sarah? Yes? Would you okay, no problem. I step forward. No, and I like, I guess kobolds are smaller than you, right? Mm -hmm. They're quite small. I sit down on, I sit down on the ground. Um, and I say, um, listen, we've heard that you've caused quite a bit of trouble in the woods these days. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> and we were wondering just, what, is, what, has what has happened recently that you guys act out this much? The translator translates and it comes back and she says, um, he's confused by the word acting out. They seem more active. They raid more. Translator they starts more people. jabbering in kobold. The kobold jabbers back and the translator says, um, it appears that there are other humans who have been encouraging the kobolds to uh, be aggressive along the roads. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Where are these humans? From the Brasslands. Brasslands, is that barbarian ter territory? Uh, she, the translator nods and says, "He, I, I believe so. Uh, I don't know if the concept of barbarian would translate to kobold or not though. What, what do they give the kobolds? She in exchange. Asks, she asks and the, the response comes back, uh, threatened under pain of death. A pain of um, oh. being turned to stone, actually. <sighs> turned to stone? Yes. The kobold seems to believe that if they don't uh, kill as many people as possible, and people in the woods as possible, that uh, they will all be turned to stone. Do these people control a co- a, a basilisk? The translation comes back as... Yes. The kobold seems 100% certain that the people telling them to attack on the roads uh, control all the basilisks in the world and can make them appear <laughs> wherever they want. Right. We slew a basilisk. Tell them they're safe for now. He doesn't believe you. Mm. He thinks it's impossible to kill a basilisk. Do we do we skin the basilisk? Uh, you definitely brought it back. It's probably somewhere nearby. Would you go and fetch the uh, the the basilisk corpse, please? Or at least a, you know, the, head. the head. The head, yes. Sure. Um, a servant returns with the the whole basilisk on a stretcher and a couple of people carrying it. Uh, there was some question as to whether they needed other bits of it for other things and didn't quite want to chop it up yet. 
but here's the full-fledged basilisk and the kobold is terrified and immediately hides underneath a nearby couch. Tell them we slew it and we can protect them from the rest. We kill basilisks every day. We are expert basilisk slayers. We can protect them if they help us. We could tell them that we control the basilisk. The kobold wants to know what you want to do to help, uh, what, what you want it to, how it, how it can help. Brother? Sister? <clears throat> we should find out more about these barbarians and which particular ones are encouraging these kobolds. Indeed. We should ask, hmm, ask them what these people look like, what language they speak, do they, what do they look like, etc., etc. Hmm. Whether they have a camp, mm, a location yes. we can go to. Yes. Okay. Uh, the kobold says that they are the people that live in the Brasslands. They live underground or in stone-built huts. Um... He doesn't know exactly where because he doesn't leave the woods, but his chieftain um, is the one in communication with them. Uh, chieftain and shaman are often the same word. I'm, it's unclear if it's a spellcasting kobold or a regular kobold. Ask the kobold whether he, ha he would be able to bring the chief or shaman to town. Uh, or at least arrange a meeting. She translates, and the translation comes back uh, with, yes, he says he can, but I feel it's my duty as a translator to let you know he probably won't. I think he's lying, and I well, also think he's incompetent and probably couldn't find his way back. Well, the, the fact that he thinks that he can bring him here leads me to believe that he believes he knows where he is. So we could... Or he just... has no idea and just says it, so you let him uh, go and he can run away? We would not let him go. We would just take him there, surely. Uh, anyway, um, could you ask him... Um, what was I going to say? Um, whether... Uh, they they take anything or um or they offer anything to the to the humans that they meet other than uh, the death of people on the road no nope, no nope. it looks like they're just working under pain of death um so the arrangement is just to kill people on the road not take any of their stuff not interfere in any way uh, they say it's just to kill people. I, I I'm, I'm sorry, my lord. I, I'm having trouble translating these complicated concepts. A kobold's brain uh, is only about this big, and um, most of this goes well over their heads. Yes, um, it's it's fine. Um, ha have the others been saying anything or piping in with any information? Nope. Nope. Do we have in, any information on uh, on the people that were actually um, caught on the road by these, whether their stuff was ransacked or... Yeah, you can get reports from the guards uh, that work at Talashar. They were killed on the road, their supplies were taken and robbed, their wagon left mostly intact, their animals either driven off or killed and eaten. But they were farmers moving foodstuffs, so it's, you know, if the kobolds took it, they probably just took it to feed themselves. That's if the kobolds were the ones taking it, and not the barbarians. Mm -hmm. Or humans in the grasslands. Mm -hmm. um, should we question the other two, see if we get any different answers, or 
Has one of these, has one of you ever been to the barbarians camp? Mm -hmm. They are a, ooh, I don't what was the right word. They're, they're not technically citizens of Akuba. They outright rebel and revoke and denounce the rule of law by all of his noble people and hole up in the brass lands. The Excuse me? The question was for the kobolds. Can you repeat the if question? The kobolds, if the kobolds have ever been to the barbarians camp, none ah. of these three kobolds. No, none of these kobolds ever have been. The barbarians came to them, apparently. Hmm. Well, I think not we have even, to deal with the barbarians. Not even the chief or shaman? No. Nope. Been... nope. Barbarians always show up with a pet basilisk with its eyes covered by a, a night mask or something and uh, do their thing and then go. Sometimes they uh, take have, kobolds prisoner. Have any of these never kobolds seen the barbarians, or is this just story from other kobolds? Yes, this one here before you has seen the barbarians firsthand. How recent? He doesn't know. Well, he says <laughs> one and one and one and one and one day, but I wouldn't trust him. Depco Waltz. Um... <clears throat> Listen, I have an idea. and I turned to one of the kobolds. You are living in fear of being killed by the barbarians. Mm -hmm. I want to take this fear away from you. Steal fear? Yes. Kill the barbarians. Remove fear. Hmm. Okay. They all they shrug and nod, and the translator says they they seem very happy with this idea. But I can only do it if you stop attacking our roads. They say if they attack the roads, they'll die. They'll all be turned to stone. They we attack. killed. If they the attack, or they don't attack. We the translator the sighs and says, uh, my lord, I, I hate to interrupt, and I think, I, I don't think the concept is getting quite through to their little brains. Mm. Listen, if we want to deal with this, if you really want to take this on, what we have to do is we have to go to the forest with the kobolds, we have to make a camp there, we have to, like, release them, whatever. Then we have to make a meeting with the shaman. And then maybe they will let us stay at wherever they are staying and we can like ambush the barbarians whenever they're coming over next. I don't see any other way for us to just find them somewhere in the hills where it's where there are just lots and lots of other basilisks there. Like if we want to meet those barbarians, the best chance is probably at a cobalt camp. Sure, I have an idea. There is a spell in one of my books I brought with me uh, that speaks of l finding a location it would be I would need to be within range of people that knew of its location but I can easily triangulate the, the area if I had gotten like two three miles away I would of what, course need to triangulate what area? How is that helpful? Triangulate the area of the barbarian camp. Or at least but nobody's one. been there. How the often barbarian. does your tribe meet with the barbarians? She rolls her eyes at your question, asks the kobold and comes back saying every one and 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 one days. I understand, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm apologizing, my lords. The, these creatures are stupid. They're very, very dumb. Okay. 
I think I think you're too smart for them, and I think their lack of smarts is outsmarting you. If we had to deal with their shaman, would you be ready to accompany us and help us out? Oh no, absolutely not. I, 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 I'm not one for the woods. No, thank you. Do you know anybody who speaks a language and would be able to help? I, yes, yes. I, I know of someone who can go with you. Uh, my older hey. brother. He will go with you. He's um, his kobold's not quite as good, and um. He's up there in the ages, in the years, but uh, he, he does enjoy the woods a lot. He's a little violent. So you would resist the royal decree? Absolutely not, my lord. I will go with you if you command me to do so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are in terror all we day. would not take a, a woman of your age into the forest against your will. No, just the young ones. We only take the young ones against their will. It's fine. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Or if it's the last Thanks. day on the job. Thank you. Right. The last. Excellent. <laughs> yes, we, we need all of your people who are about to retire, and also the people whose first day is on the job who are really excited about it. Yes, yes. Uh, is there something that you need from... What? Am I going with you? Into the woods? No. Okay. Yeah. So, are uh, we going to kobolds and uh, try to uh, camp there and make him make make some offerings to the kobolds until the shaman shows up and you can cast your spell to find their location. So, so is that how it works? for the spell that I want to learn, uh, if I'm within a mile of someone that does know the location of the place I'm looking for. Uh, it will, and this place actually exists, then I am pointed in a direction to it. Following that direction, I can then cast the spell again and sort of narrow down the area of... Yeah, so you would need, like, a, a well-known landmark for this, right? Locate so... landmark. Hmm? Locate landmark, yeah. Right, right. So what sort of landmark would you be using? Like, the camp? Because that's not, you would need to basically be in the camp to find people who know where the camp is since no one knows where the barbarians live. I would need to be live. within a mile of someone that knows of it. Whether they're in the camp itself or outside the camp doing their own business, or whether they had come to the kobolds, so the people that know of the camp, I can then use their information to find it. Uh, yeah. One of those three. Uh... I would, we would then have to bring at least one of them along um, to, you know. Sure. So you would need to get close enough to the barbarian camp to f have a barbarian be within range, basically. Yes. You need to be within or a mile of the camp. Yeah. Yes. Right. Or have the barbarians be visiting the kobolds while we're at the kobold camp. That's true. Uh, however, you don't know the spell yet. So maybe we should wait no. two days for you to learn the spell. If this is what something that we are going to go ahead with, yes. That sounds like a terrible plan. I think we should do that. <laughs> uh. But first, you need to you need to be able to make the roll, right, for to learn the spell. Welcome to yeah. bad plans are us for all your bad plan needs. A divination spell, so I would need. What is it? Minus 15, 50? 50, 50 chance. Okay, let's see it. Are, are, is that what we're going with, guys? Okay, well... You guys were all in for the kobold thing. It was Bon and you, so you guys carry this quest, okay? Like, I tried <laughs> with the dwarves. That went down well. Now apparently what we're doing is we're tracking down kobolds to slay basilisks to fight the barbarians in the hills. That's what we're doing. Fine. I'm cool with it, but you guys. I think can... that sounds perfectly reasonable. I've never heard of a better quest than this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. I'm gonna learn to spell regardless, but whether I'm doing it now or later is the quest. We gotta save these people. Let's kill some barbarians in the mountain. <laughs> it seems it... sensible. Go for it. it. 
I'm rolling a d100, and I do not learn in the spell. No, you have no way to learn that spell. Oh my god! We can still go to the Cotwall camp and... We are the best. Wait at least two weeks before the they come and One of then... the, the king's guards standing near you gives a bit of a cleared throat. <clears> throat> Lords, I hate to suggest strategy, but the Brasslands aren't that large of an area. Perhaps but they also full of full with basilisks, aren't they? That is true. Yes. But, aren't uh, that large? It's it is like about fifty, 50 square miles. Square mile. Um, perhaps you could, you know, we we could send some emissaries to go look for them, and once we found them, send you in. I, I, I know you're trying to prove yourself to the people. I, I've heard you all say this before, but... <clears throat> I, uh, I think maybe it would be prudent to rely on the skill sets of your uh, servants and willing subjects. I absolutely agree. Brothers? Sister? Fine. Wonderful. I, it is... I guess a ruler should know when to delegate tasks. I, it's quite honorable that you would like to take on every little bit of work yourself. It, uh, it, 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 it... Speaking for the common people, I appreciate your effort to uh, be... Um, self-sufficient, my lords and ladies. I like your ambition, but you're shit. Um, I would never say that. No, no, I, no, my lord. House of character. No, my lord, I, I would never say such a thing. Out loud. Oh, to your face. The phone. <laughs> was there... Uh, was there a tomb in the Brasslands, Neil, of the barbarian with the giant belt? Let's... Uh, are you talking about Brutana the Dude, Barbarian? I, I think that was something like, was that in the Brasslands? I, I uh, can't. Their people look. are in the Brasslands, but only her people know where her tomb is. It is unknown to hey, you hey, civilized. If I, do, if I had locate landmark, I would be able to find that tomb. If it if was common had, knowledge had, amongst the Barbarians, yes. Which it is. It says known only to the barbarians of the Brasslands. Which is not the same as known to every barbarian in the Brasslands. It doesn't have to be known to every barbarian. It has to be common enough knowledge. It's not a secret that you can pull from a single person's brain. Thank yeah. God you don't have spells, so don't we don't have to talk about it, right? Right. <sighs> I wanna be useful. You are so oh, useful, you Sammy. Are useful, brother. I wanna be useful too, but <laughs> 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 I All right. what, what did you do today? I got the captain of the guards killed, and you? <laughs> I poisoned a basilisk. You did. Yep. You did. Um, so, I think we are done for today. In typical Akuba Knights fashion, everything has gone wrong from start wrong. to finish. Uh, I shot a basilisk. You did, and we are actually making progress. You are headed to the Brasslands with an objective to put an end to the Barbarian Menace, making the Kobold... To put an end to the Kobold Menace by stopping the Barbarian Menace, and maybe <laughs> to find the tomb of Brutana the Barbarian from 1,200 years ago, 1,300 years ago, who is said to have... What was it? Year unknown. Gear I'm unknown. guessing a giant belt, like and a belt of giant a strength. Giant spell strength. Yes, uh, Brutana the Barbarian is a historical figure who lived from 250 to 284, a fearsome warrior from the Brasslands with bulging muscles. She is said to have wrestled a hill giant and uh, died from acute alcohol poisoning after a feast, after a, a great victory, some random battle, uh, buried somewhere. Yeah. Only her people know about. Uh, so that's it for Akuma Knights for today. 
I would like to, uh, I said this to the players during our last break, but to all of you viewers, this is a great example of how everything can go wrong and yet it can still be fun and you can still have a good time. At least I am, I don't know. If Anna Sophia looks like she's about to kill someone. She looks really frustrated. Just don't ask me what we're going to do next time for the plot, because I'm going to be thinking about it. I'm not in charge of whatever road we're going down now, because I dreamt of that war for two, okay? That was my dream, which has been shattered this session, so, you know. I was also, hey, I wanted to sneak in. Whatever the fuck. Uh I wanted to sneak in as well, okay? I was going to seduce a dwarf and try and get the dwarf, okay? I was totally down for taking one for the team. That My dream. And cheat on your fiance? You could jeopardize the entire agreement. I mean, it's not going better for me fiance, either way. Fine. I just wanted to kill some kobolds and we nearly died to some, to a basilisk and yeah. I just wanted the dwarf and... I just want a pet griffin. Next time. Now? Next time on a Cuban Nights, Sammy goes for a griffin ride and falls off. <laughs> Maya seduces a dwarf, but it's the wrong dwarf. Anna <laughs> Sophie is oh, once sorry, again looked over and forgotten, and no one cares about her healing, and everyone complains about it. And Budarios accidentally kills the new fiance he gets when he, you know, there's a romantic bath and she accidentally drowns. We'll meet no. you all next week for some more a Cuban nights or a Cuban yeah. nightmares. I don't even know. Um, Cuban nightmares, yeah. yeah. Until next time, guys. Thanks. Until next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.